I know this sounds insane, but I'm going to install this home theater sub and the Toyota Tundra because the factory JBL subwoofer blew and it sounds like crap because I think the you know foam is coming off the subwoofer. Let's see how this random home theater sub sounds. And then eventually I'll replace it with a you know a real eight. But anyways. For the time being, let's see how this home theater sub sounds in this Tundra. I think it's gonna sound better than the factory, actually. All right, All right here goes the factory JBL sub. I wanna play it so you can see how horrible it sounds. I think it has core rope or something. <laughs> To a little problem the drill cannot get to the bottom screws without me taking the seats out or taking this whole little enclosure out and i don't feel like doing that so what i'm gonna do is get these and start twisting this is called rigging the science of rigging so about yeah i think it has coil rope um, if you listen carefully, you can probably hear it on camera. I don't think you can quite hear it, but I'm going to dissect it later on and see what kind of rubbing it has on the coil. But yeah, that's the factory JBL sub. I just noticed this. Look, just noticed this. It was kind of hidden. Look at that. It's torn. The surround is torn. Uh, man, I just noticed that. Yep. Well, it doesn't fit. So sad. Well, I have to get a shallow mount sub from Scar Audio. Um, I think Succulent Trunks have some good shallow mount subs I can use for this because, you know, the magnet is here in the back. It's too deep. I don't feel like bending another closure, so it's gonna try to use this factory closure with the shallow mount sub. Well, that ain't going as planned. More than the sub, that need replacing. The two front door speakers need replacing also. So I'm gonna replace those. Okay, so I'll catch y'all next time. Peace.